M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the TYT9600. We're loading up the new version of the OpenGD77 firmware. But just remember when you when you get into this, you do need to make sure you download the correct firmware for your radio and you will need to remove the top cover from your radio. So I, I did make a video on this, I'll put the link in the description and mine at the top right had had a 2.1 written, okay? Just on where it says, see where it says 6.03? Mine had 2.1 written, so I'm using version two. It's May 2025 now, so I want to get the newest one on there. Um, so here it is, it says here, the 9600 and the RT90 had different versions and you need to check, but even if you get it wrong, all that ends up happening is it won't transmit or receive correctly until you get the right version. So if you get if you put version one on and it don't, doesn't work, then you just try version two. But mine says 2.1, okay? So from that, we're going to download the, they call it the latest firmware by clicking this link here. See, TYT MD9600, latest firmware, and we click that and it takes us to this page here. Look, there you go. And so I'm gonna try version, I don't want Japanese, I'm gonna try version, it says here, firmware two. I'm gonna click two and it downloads, you know, to my download folder. I think I'll just leave it there for now. Then we'll go back to the radio, which is connected via the micro USB. And I'm finding that a normal cable works and that the radio pretty much acts, you know, gives gives you what you need for the radio to be recognized by the software. And if I go over to my software, and I'll give you a link to download this software. This is the latest 2024 May version. I've also got a link for the USB driver as well, which should just load up with the CPS software anyway. And here's the, the page for the, the latest software, CPS latest. The date is 24th of May, 2024. So we'll dive in, we're all connected. We need to get into firmware mode. So we turn off the radio on the, using the actual radio off. Then we turn, let's get it right, let's turn the power supply off, off at the moment. Then we hold down the P1 here and the orange button, we hold them down and then we just turn the power supply on and that should get us into firmware mode. So it's a bit fiddly, but we'll do it. So holding down the P1, the first two, <laughs> and then turn on, see if anything happens. We'll know if it's in firmware mode because it, it will let us know. We'll try that again. So when you do it correctly, it flashes like that. Remember what I did? You turn it off, then you turn, leave the power on, turn it off first, then leave the power on. No, actually turn it off, then turn the power off. Then hold down orange and P1. Just turn the power on the power supply on, but never ever touch the green button. And you're, when it's flashing like this, and the instructions are there, you're in firmware mode. So now we're just gonna load up the firmware. So we know the cable's connected, so we'll go to extras, firmware, like so. Move this out of the way a bit. And we do the, we're doing the MD9600, as you know. Select the official donor file, which apparently is always the same, and that says MD9600. Click OK. And now we want the update, select the update firmware. And I've found that that's, the one in my download worked fine last time. Version 2, double click, and it's writing. Even if I get this wrong and it doesn't receive and transmit, it's the same process. I'll just have to go back in later and do it with a different one, but it's exactly the same process. Okay, update complete. And this is the same as the initial. Now remember, if you're sensible, you're always gonna, um, let's turn it on. 
There you are, it's come on. Settings updated. Enter. I think I'm pressing enter. Can't really press the screen, can I? So yeah, that looks like it's updated. Just show you the screen. Press enter. Right, it's already actually receiving. That's good news. Yeah, I'm being silly. The enter button is right in front of me. I mean, I do absolutely love these and they're not expensive to buy. Um, right, so that's all updated. I was curious, I'll close that window. I was curious about the APRS. So, whether it will actually do it on this device. So, we're on the latest software. So, I'm going to write this radio software back to the radio. Oh, he wants the, the COM port. We'll do that. Yeah, so that's, I just clicked it again. The cable wasn't pushed in very well. And it's written in there, it's all there. Turn it down. Now we're gonna go to the channels. So that's my contacts, there's channels. And we'll bring this down a minute just so we can See if I got any APRS, APRS in there. There's one there. Let's double click it and see what's, if I set it up right. APRS, and look, we need to set an APRS up, see that? So it's the right channel, the right frequency, but it's not completely set up yet. So what we'll do is go to, at the top here, this new tab, and we'll click add and now we can set up some APRS. So we'll put in some location, just rough for now, 51 dot, and we'll just put here two. But obviously get your proper location. I'll put here ham tech as a message so we can recognize it. Everything else I like, yeah? M0, FXB7 will do for testing. Wide one, wide two, so I'm happy with that. So we can close that. Remember, it's called APRS1. Now we go back to our APRS channel, which is here. So like I said, you put in your frequency. What in England, 144800, in the USA, is it 900? This time, here, select APRS1. And then just to be really clever, we'll make sure we've got it in our APRS zone. The zone is groups of channels. And yes, it is. APRS. Let's have a look. APRS. Yeah, it's in there. So that's okay. We're going to save, file, save, documents. And I'm just going to change that to a new thing 9600. Okay. Save for now. Click OK. And then we'll write it to the radio. You can see that the radio says that when it's writing. Then we'll select that zone. So we'll have to change channel. So we'll press, um, where is it? Enter. Enter again, and then we'll select our APRS zone, enter, and we're on the channel. Now I've never, I don't even know if this works, so I've never tested it before. Um, so I think we've, have we set up the, if we go to, we need to make sure that we've told it to transmit when you press the PTT. So we'll go into the menu, options. Um, we got new options thanks to the firmware update and the software update. APRS options, enter. And then we want the mode, we'll go enter. Oh, hang on a minute. Enter, enter, and then mode. Let's turn, there you are. We want PTT, okay? Now remember, this can automatically transmit. 
Um, so we're looking hopeful, all the settings are there and I don't even know if it does APRS. And so, right, we've got the set up, all set up on my FT5. So the idea now is we just key the mic, hold it for about a second and it's gonna send our location in now. I, we should have our location in here from uh, from doing our our satellites, but let's try it. So, so it's not doing it at the moment. We won't give up. Yeah, it looks like it didn't save the setting. So let's just keep trying. Manual Pete. Now, how do we save it? Do we go enter? Now let's try. Maybe we didn't press enter. Oh, it's now asking for my location, so that's looking very promising now. So we just the last time I did that, I just went to menu, went up to satellites, and it when I did my satellite. Yeah, look, not set. So I'm just going to put in anything random, right? Can I use the microphone for that? Yeah, I can. Look, I'm just going to go five one and all loads of noughts. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Okay, enter. And it's given that location. <laughs> and we're back out. Right, let's just check that it's still APRS TX. Uh, go up. This is so good. Remember, this is free. Yeah, it still says PTT. We're going to escape. And watch this. And it, it definitely made the, the sound. Uh, let me just go in here a minute. We'll go, uh, let me think now, F, then list. And we tap that. There it is. Now I'm going to delete that. It definitely says ham tech, but I want to go back and just delete that and make sure, because I've been doing a lot of testing. So deleted everything on the radio and let's do another transmission again. Right, so that has it lost its settings. I'm going to keep trying. Okay. It did work. And what I had to do, I went back in, went to location up and down and I changed the location instead of saying channel. I changed it to GPS, look, channel or GPS, enter, and then let's, let's just uh, go back a bit so you can see everything. And so I'll just delete it again. Um, we'll go, I love the FT5 by the way. Uh, station list, all the grid, hit the grid, and then delete. And it will get rid of everything that you've ever done. Then we'll go back and let's do a transmission just using the the microphone which you can see here. Get it back so you can see everything. It's almost instant. You see the way it says APRS TX. Now remember if I was connected to an external antenna that would be brilliant. Sorry about the blip. So let's do it again. But at the moment, I'm on a dummy load. Yeah, it doesn't want to do it now that I've done it the second time. But I think that's enough. I think that's a successful transmission and has worked well and uh, more to learn. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now. 7-3.